All right, everybody, we got something a little different today. It's my first unboxing. We got planes, we got boats, we got jokes, we got some sick notes by your best friend, Jippy. What's up, Marching Mongoose YouTube fam? Uh, today, we're going to be doing something a little different. You probably came here for some fun games. Uh, if you can't read the title and just saw one of my videos and decided that you were here to check that out. Uh, but this is an unboxing. No, not that. Oh. An unboxing, not a box. Anyway. Uh, these shades, this shirt, it's actually a little misleading. There's boats, but, uh, there's a boat backwards on the screen. Uh, anyhow, yeah, so unboxing, we're doing flight controls, aircraft. Uh, so, oh, I picked up, uh, and I, I did a little pre-unboxing, but it's not going to ruin anything at all. This is a, uh, a Honeycomb Alpha, uh, flight yoke. This is what the planes use if they want to go... Uh, nose up or nose down and to roll. Uh, I don't have an aircraft uh, but Imagine if your hands could fly uh, so uh, I heard some pretty good reviews on that. I was told it was great. You know, it's uh, They do a lot of fun stuff uh, So this is the honeycomb oh, Honeycomb alpha uh, You'll be able to see it. I can't see it. Uh, what, what's in there guys? It's uh, well, it's got some foam it has foam in there uh, and a little looks like a little sticky pad doodad uh, that goes on your desk it has like a film kind of thing with like some stands I guess for and it, it like grabs onto that uh, yeah first unboxing video this is probably gonna get real weird uh, uh, this looks like it's a USB USB uh, USB-C and a uh, phone cable. Uh, maybe you have to call somebody. I don't know. And if you don't know, your ass better call somebody. Um, all right. So in here, it looks like we've got. Oh, Matt. Um, I wouldn't worry about that. I mean, if I were you, I definitely wouldn't worry about that because it's it's clearly not yours. Um, all right, there's some other things in the box, but this seems to be, you know, this is what people think of when you think of a flight yoke. You don't really think of that metal thing that fell on the floor. Uh, you think of this. Ooh, ah, look at that! For all you Cessna owners out there. It might be uh, a little familiar, you know, it's, uh, you, you, you grab that there and it, then that'll turn the plane to the left and well, it'll roll it to the left and roll it to the right. That feels pretty smooth, actually, I really like that. And then uh, if you push it in this direction, that's for nose down, and then this is for nose up. You can pull it out in all the different directions. How fun is that? Uh, how, how bad of a shot can I get for, for this? Yeah, so you'll, uh, you know, that's your... That's your flight controls there. It's, you know, it's like a, like a 180, 180 degree. You know, it's got some buttons on the top. I'm sure I can assign them for different things. Uh, and it's got some, uh, I liked this model. Peel the, uh, peel the plastic back there. I don't know if you can see this, but it's got like a, a key switch. I don't know what angle I need the light at. Maybe I'll uh, take a picture and blow this up or something, but there's your, that's how you would turn your plane on and off with a key. And then uh, on this side is for your battery and your avionics, your master switches. Uh, and then it actually has some switches here for your beacon lights, your landing lights, taxi, navigation, and strobe lights. Uh, so you would turn those on when you're doing those things. You know, uh, you know if you're coming in, you're under 10,000 feet and you want to turn your landing lights on or you know, you're taxiing and you want to turn your taxi lights on. Big surprise there. Yeah. Woo. Uh, so, yeah, it's, uh, I kind of like this. All right. So, I mean, I, I hope I like it. I did enough research on it. That's a damn short. 
so uh, it's got it's got a lot of electrostatic foam. God, get off! Um, all right, so uh, it looks like yeah. There's so there's a USB here, and there's a LED button. This uh, this plate looks like it actually slides in. It's got a little knob, a little thing, and slides in there, and it locks in. Check that out. So this will actually stay on the desk all the time, and then you can just disconnect that. I really wonder how my keyboard's gonna work with this. I do still plan on using this as a computer. You guys love those Tarkov streams, don't you? Um, all right, so, I mean, it's it's kinda, it's a little tough for you all to see, but I like this. I'm, I'm definitely gonna give you a little, you know, behind the, over the shoulder there, so you can see what this looks like, cause dang, I'm all right with that. Um, that feels good. Uh, and setting it up, I guess, um, well, yeah, this this is a book. Books are for nerds. We're going to put that over there. Uh, and we're just going to go ahead and do that. I see this little cable you do, Dad. Uh, it has like a slot. Um, all right, so that cable you do, Dad, is actually kind of important. It looks like that's the link between uh, the, the, the yoke part and the base part. Um, so... Reading is fun. It's not for nerds. It's actually for cool kids. Um, yeah, so put that aside for now. Uh, let's continue. Oh, the uh, this is what fell. I think this is a, a bracket that probably uh, goes to the bottom of the desk. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that makes sense because... Bear with me. There is another. And so these two will clamp to the desk. And then that holds down the base, which then the, uh... all right, well, thanks for coming in here, puppy. Uh, and so then that clamps down and then that goes on the thing and then locks in and then you, yeah, that works. All right, awesome. Next. Uh, all right. You got your, uh... You got your up and your down, right? You're, you're flying along, you're, you're an airplane, you wanna go like this, we got that part. You wanna do like that, we got that part. Um, but, you know, like this boat shirt that I'm wearing, uh, everybody knows how boats work, right? They got a rudder and the, the rudder moves them, but boats are dumb, boats are two-dimensional, they float on the water. You can't go under the water with a boat. It's not called a boat, it's called a submarine. And if your plane is in the water, then you were probably drunk and you shouldn't have been flying. Anyway, so here's a... Uh, Here's, unless you're Sully, then sorry, Sully. That's that's a whole different. That, that's a whole different thing. Um, boats have rudders. Planes have rudders. Well, uh, planes have rudders. I have pedals and these two plastic pieces. So it looks like uh, these go. Wherever the manual says they go. But, all right, so here's the cool part. Oh, I guess I'm just gonna have to see where they go. I don't see a manual. I'm sure there's a manual in there. It's Logitech. I don't think I told you what these were. So this is the uh, light rudder pedals. Uh, they're Logitech. Um, just literally Logitech. Ow! Is that bleeding? <laughs> Watch the box, guys. Um, yeah, Logitech flight rudder panels. I don't see a, uh, a model number or anything, but they, they look like that. They come in a box. You can buy, you can get them in a store. You can buy them in a store. So, yeah, on, uh, they're designed for your feet. Let's go ahead and get them out of here. Let's get you out of there. Yes, puppy, you are very excited. My dog is extremely excited. So, you put your toots on these. And uh, you can move them back and forth. You know, when you move one up, the other moves the other way. And uh, traditionally, you know, there'd be a cable assembly, and you push one forward, and the cable moves back and forth. And so it, it moves the rudder on the back of the planes, because planes do have rudders. Uh, don't let the boat people tell you otherwise. And then you can also um, use the toes and push the toes in. And what that does is your brakes. So you push the toes in, and then the brakes come on. 
Uh, you can use the one side or use the other side. And that gets your right and left differential braking. Looks like this model here has a uh, tension adjustment. So if you know, if you want, uh, you know, less tension, ooh, that's loosey goosey. Uh, you can uh, increase the tension. Ooh. 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 That's tight. Um, so also, it seems that these foot pieces look a whole lot like those foot pieces. I'd imagine if you wanted to, say, bolt this to the floor, uh, that's what that looks like. Uh, we're gonna find a uh, we're gonna find a book for that. Books are cool. This also has a USB. Uh, lots of USBs. Pretty much everything has a USB. Uh, get yourself a USB hub. Or don't. It's your life. I don't care. Uh, if you want to reach around the back of your computer and, uh, you know, these are adjustable here. There's a little button that says push. So, you know, if you just push on that and you can adjust it for your feet. Because you don't want your feet sliding off. You know, if your feet slide off, then you, you're going to be in trouble. You don't want your feet to slide off the pedals. Uh, to the washer later on. This is a Logitech thro flight throttle. Where's my light? F flight throttle quadrant. Hey, that took forever. Logitech flight throttle quadrant. And this allows you to grab your pen knife. Um, I thought I had these open. They got me with the old box in a box trick. I, th I wanted to have this prepped so it wouldn't be, uh, you know. All right, so we got a cool little piece of paper. I'm not gonna wash that this time. We got some uh, some knobby doos. We got uh, we got some knobs there. That's pretty cool. Um, and uh, well, uh, okay, hang on. Uh, now I'm. The other ones I kind of I understood that made a whole lot of sense to me. This is this for this is for multi-engine jets. So you have your Cessna controls, right? You got your your two throttles there. Uh, if you have a complex uh, prop, you have your your prop controls there so that you can change the the prop angle. And uh, red is for mixture, uh, lean out or to enrich in your mixture on your aircraft. Um, which is great. Uh, also, looks like we have. They are already on here. Is the idea? I think the idea is that yes, you can get multiple of these and actually stack them up this way. And so, if you had a multi-engine aircraft, uh, instead of just having the three, you could have different ones of these. Uh, if I had to guess, um, which at this point I have to guess because I haven't read anything because I'm not doing that. It's an unboxing, it's not an unreading. And this also looks like a plastic. It is very observant of me. Um, that's not the right size. Uh, this goes like that, and then goes in. Oh, oh, okay. All right. So this goes on the desk here, like this, uh, and then you have this that sits on top, and then there's uh, there's mounting hardware. Yeah, like these guys, and then the the whole thing bolts to you know like that, um, and then looks like there's some screw bits there. So I've got some work to do. Um, but that's kind of cool. And then, so, all right, you can pop these off. And then put this on. Okay, so this is definitely designed for multiple. All right, so you have the four in the middle, right? And then you would have uh, your speed brake and then your flaps on the other side. So this is uh, definitely for 
like a um, like a Boeing or Airbus or something larger like that, and then you would actually stack these up, um, and so you would have the whole throttle quadrant. To be honest, I plan on getting the uh, Honeycomb Bravo. Uh, I, I wanted the Honeycomb Bravo. That was actually the plan, but they didn't have it in stock, uh, so I got the Alpha um, Honeycomb Yoke, and then planning on adding on later. Uh, so. I'm hoping that that works out and that these all play nice with each other. I have the switches uh, so I can turn the you know, aircraft on and off and you know all of your fun things like that. So uh, that's pretty much it. I'm definitely going to do an overhead shot next and uh, we'll see some flights hopefully with this very soon. Thanks for tuning in. It's all been unboxed. You guys are great. Uh, we'll get to this later, but for now, we're just going to be in Cessna land. Uh, stay safe out there, everyone. Thanks, and uh, enjoy yourselves. All right, so it seems that I've got a couple of things to say since I'm putting this together. Um, I'm just going to run them all into one here at the end. Uh, I did start constructing this and the Honeycomb Alpha Flight Yoke, great, fantastic. You put the thing on there, it's got the wheels that you screw down, I was wrong about that in the first place. It's not an adjustment, you actually use those wheels to create tension and to lock it all in place. Um, and it's super solid, uh, there's no issues with that at all. Uh, feels really good, connects up, um, excellent. The, uh, for the throttle quadrant, right? Um, I actually found out that it is possible to put the base on the wrong way around. So as this would go like into your desk, right? Um, I actually had it where it was the other way around and it, it, like the desk would be going this way. And so instead of your hand being able to do this, it would be you reaching over. Yeah, it's, it's I, didn't, I didn't like that a whole lot. Um, the other thing that I'm learning is it has these three holes on the bottom uh, and that's for your tension rod um, to go in and what actually ended up happening is it would shift all the way out here and it would rotate uh, so I'm going to try in the middle here um, and then you just clip this this cup on there and then tighten that down to the desk um, that's great. I'm not going to pull the pedals up off the floor, but the uh, the pedals also have nothing to stick to the carpet. It almost seems like they uh, they want you to screw it into the floor uh, with no other options. It comes with uh, some Velcro strips, and I just put the Velcro strip on the bottom. Uh, I guess it works. Uh, it's just not... I would want... Like, I have other Logitech stuff and I, I love it it's great uh, I've got the the G27 wheel I've got the the pedals I have the H box shifter all of that's fantastic I don't know maybe um, you know they didn't spend quite as much time with the flight stuff uh, but it wasn't all that bad price wise uh, I'm not terribly upset about it um, the book was not helpful uh, I'll look around online if I find anything I'll update this I'll edit the video I'll do whatever I'll take it down uh, but at this time, I'm kind of seeing that that's just, that's just the way it is.